Hi, I'm Patty. I manage social media here at Art Resin. And today, if you can tell by my garb, we're going to work on a Halloween craft. So, let's begin. Today, we're going to make an outdoor Halloween craft, a little outdoor ghost light made out of cheesecloth, a balloon, and some art resin. So what you're going to need to do is get a plain white balloon and you're going to want some either yogurt or margarine containers which will act as your stand and you're going to need some tape. Once you've placed the balloon in your yogurt container, you're going to want to take your tape and you're going to want to secure the balloon onto your container. This is obviously a new piece of tape. I can't find the Oh, here we go! Yay! So we're going to tape this on. What we discovered is that the balloon has a tendency to stick a little bit too much, so we're going to want to put a little bit of Vaseline so it's just easier to take off. So now we're going to go and take our cheesecloth. I'm just going to go over it and set it. Perfect. And the excess cheesecloth is going to harden, so that's what's going to act as your stand for your little ghost. So in case you're wondering how we protected our work surface when we are going to do our uh, craft project, we've actually used a good quality shower curtain because then you can just peel the art resin right off of the curtain without having any issues. Now let's mix up some art resin. <laughs> it's pretty awesome because it's water clear. You want to make sure that you scrape the sides and bottom of your mixing vessel really, really well so you get the resin and the hardener mixed perfectly. So we're going to do this for three minutes. I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I had a lot of coffee. So that's why I'm so wide awake. <laughs> a little drizzle on top of the balloon. It almost looks like a melting ice cream cone. And then you're going to take your gloved hand, drag the resin down all the way to the bottom. I'm just making sure I have a good solid base so that when I take it off, it's nice and stiff and it'll stand on its own. Another way that you could actually spread the resin is if you crumble up the cheesecloth and literally dip it right into your resin and then you'll just squeeze out the excess and then the whole thing is covered and there's not really much waste. I'm gonna just spread open my dipped art resin cheesecloth and then you wanna make sure you have a nice good base, make a little family of ghosts here. This method is not as messy and you don't need as much resin. So either one is great, it's really personal preference. You're still gonna get the same result. What we're going to do now is gonna, we're gonna wait overnight, let it cure and see if we need another coat. That's it for now. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yay! <laughs>so it's the next day and what we've discovered is that um, when you dip the cheesecloth uh, in the resin it actually still maintains its shape if you want something a little bit more stiffer then pouring it works too but i think just dipping it in a single coat of the art resin made it stiff enough uh, to finish the project so now we're going to attach these super cute googly eyes to our little ghosts oh my gosh Adorable. What I'm gonna do now is gonna draw on some pretty girl eyelashes. So it's like a little mama ghost. So as you can see, we have our little ghost family all ready to go. And you can be as creative as you want. You can add bows, you can put mouths on these little guys. You can put a little like top hat to make it extra cute. Um, be as playful as you want and be as creative as you want and add and embellish your ghosts as you wish. And they'll make the perfect Halloween decor. If you really wanna make them extra spooky, Add some LED votives and turn off the lights. Happy Halloween!